Hello YouTube, uh, this is Tom Snow 737 um, If you watched my last uh, video You will know that I was going to do this airport update uh, Also got another one scheduled for my other airport as well uh, Probably on Friday um, That's currently the busiest schedule that scheduled day for that airport at the minute um, As I mentioned I've just got to tweak a few things with the schedules themselves but yeah um, Obviously, stay tuned for that update on Friday. Um, this update, um, it, well, it's quite a busy update, but there's a, one or two models that I've included which sort of relate to recent arrivals. Um, obviously, I can't get it precisely exactly 100%, um, obviously, in the scale world, but uh, nonetheless, hope you enjoy you know, uh, as much as you do the other updates. Um, once again, I'm recording with my phone, um, so I hope uh, quality is uh, is you know as good as like the previous videos. Um, you know, if if you do prefer me recording with my camcorder um, for whatever reason, then please do say. But I think using my phone is a lot better. Um, along the video, I'm going to be talking about a few things as well, uh, explaining a few things and talking about other things as well. Um, maybe more towards the end of the video just in case anyone gets doesn't really want to listen and just wants to crack on with the update um so yeah let's crack on with the update uh so obviously in front of us um we have a qatar a330 uh, which we're going out to doha uh then beyond that we have a pia we have pia triple seven 300 er uh, which we're going out to Islamabad um, and then obviously hiding behind that uh, we have two Monarch A321s uh, the one in the foreground will be going out to Sharm El Sheikh then the one behind it will be going out to Mallorca uh, and then we have a Virgin Atlantic 747 uh, 400 of course in the far distance, um, which we'll, go, we'll be going out to Orlando. Um, sweeping across over to the remote stands. Uh, in fact, in the far, far distance, we have a Monarch uh, A320, uh, which is just taxiing around um, due to um, movements coming out from around the Terminal 1 section, which we'll get onto in a minute. Um, quite a busy lineup of Thompsons on the remote stands today. Uh, all of these are non-operational today. Uh, then on the far side, we have um, a Saudi MD-11, a uh, Saudi Special Flight MD-11. Um, this is so somewhat based on a Saudi A330 that arrived. So sort of, you know, Saudi related, uh, something a bit special. Um, or different, um, I just thought I'd include that in. Um, then we have a Thompson 767 uh, 300, which is also not up. And then we have this, um, well, uh, yeah, we'll crack on with this first. Uh, we have this uh, MD 11, uh, it's not MD 11, uh, MD, I think it's an MD 82, uh, could be wrong. Um, that's just me thinking off the top of my head. Uh, obviously in the World Cup livery, uh, this did actually make an appearance recently um, at Manchester. However, obviously the titles have been removed since. Um, it's basically just got like the, um, the front part, I think. Uh, I think there's another marking as well. I can't remember what exactly. Uh, but yeah, it's still in the same red colour, I think. And um, But all like the Coca-Cola FIFA titles have gone. Um, well, I just want to uh, talk about that as well. I've hit that on the end just in case you know any of you guys are not really bothered about that. Um, and then here we have a Thompson 757-200, which has just arrived from Lanzarote. Um, then, obviously, where Terminal 1 would probably be. Uh, we have a Jet 2 757, um, Jet 2 757 200, 
which will be going outbound to Tenerife. And then next to that, also where Terminal 1 would be, we have an Etihad A330. Um, so yeah, that's it for the update guys, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, just to go through a few things uh, with regards to the like World Cup aircraft. Um, yeah, when the World Cup took place, I mean I might have hit on this uh, in videos during it, I'm not sure. But the World Cup... Uh, for me, it was like a big event. It's probably one of the most memorable world events I have. Um, and, you know, it, I can remember quite a lot. I remember other World Cups as well, but this one I was uh, with Liverpool as a Liverpool supporter. Um, Liverpool obviously came close to winning the league title. Um, obviously, they stumbled at the last hurdle, but I think that's what sort of, you know, brought me up. You know, the fact my team was doing pretty well in the Premier League. Uh, obviously, we had Luis Suarez scoring left, right and centre. But, um, yeah, that, that season was just incredible. And then, obviously, we had the World Cup. And I, I, I think that's why I was, uh, you know, I was more into it than probably any other World Cup I've been into uh, or had an interest of. Um, so, basically, yeah, the... Um, you know, the World Cup, my friend, I actually have a friend who's from Brazil. Um, I sort of, I, of course, I was supporting England, but I also wanted Brazil to win because um, my friend, he helped me a lot through college. Uh, that's why I met him. And he, I helped him as well. Um, you wouldn't believe, though, that he is, um, you wouldn't believe that he is actually from Brazil. Um, but he is. Um, you know, his English is fluent as, as mine, uh, probably even better. Um, but, but no, uh, yeah, with him being from Brazil, I think that's what, you know, sort of made the World Cup uh, more exciting and sort of more interest to me. Uh, because uh, at the same time, it's like learning more about Brazil itself as well and the country and where he's come from. So, you know, it was like a, such a, an incredible event. Um and you know, like music that goes with it, like the World Cup songs, I used to listen to them like non stop during the time, even after I just couldn't stop playing them. And uh, another thing I just want to touch upon is if you're following me on Instagram, you'd have probably seen a lot of sort of screenshots, uh, photos that I've taken on Forza Horizon 2 uh, with the Fast and Furious pack. And just going back to like, you know, like the world event of. Um, the World Cup uh, last year. Um, obviously, obviously, you know, sadly, Paul Walker passed away. Um, now I know a lot of people probably know about this. Um, I don't want to go on about it too much, but when he when it was first announced that he'd passed away, it didn't really bother me. Um, I don't want to say that in a horrible way. You know, of course, I was, like, shocked, you know, just as much as anyone. Uh, I've always been a fan of Fast and Furious and stuff like that. And, you know, at the time, because I just constantly saw it on Facebook, you know, Rest in Peace, Paul Walker, and it, it sort of got to the point where it was like, yeah, or, you know what I mean? Um, you know, Rest in Peace, you know, reading it constantly uh, on my news feed. And then... In recent events, um, I've been learning to drive, so that's probably something to do with it. But it's just sort of hit me, um, you know, that, you know, Fast and Furious and he has died and how much he actually meant to everyone and everything like that. And anyway, I, I just had like this urge to buy uh, the Fast and Furious uh, collection of uh, one to six. Um and obviously, I I actually pre-ordered Fast, uh, Fast and Furious Seven on DVD as well. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to touch up on that with regards to like the music, uh, the song "See You Again." It's a song that's you know got so much emotion in it, but it's one of them songs that you just can't sort of help but listen to. Um, yeah, so you know, obviously, with me learning to drive, I think that's really sort of raised the thing. For me to be more interested into in Fast and Furious, and 
Uh, I did actually watch old movies like last week or something, but now I've um, I decided to re-watch them again. And at first I didn't really understand the order because I was like a bit confused, you know, when Han, Han dies uh, in the later Fast and Furious and then he's like alive in... Um, Sorry, he dies in like Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift and all that, and then he comes back. I, I'm confused. Anyway, it's not like, you know, the order's like different to when they were actually released or something. So, so yeah, I just wanted to touch up on that. Um, please leave any comments uh, at all regarding the World Cup uh, last year, uh, regarding Fast and Furious, uh, because, you know, I'd love to talk about um, I'd love to talk about that, you know, like one-on-one -on -one or like in a group chat sort of thing rather than just me sort of blur everything out on the video for you guys to get bored. Um, or some of you might just be thinking, you know, Paul Walker's died, so let's move on. But, you know what I mean, it, it did mean a lot to, to, you know, the fans of Fast and Furious, you know, obviously the family as well, uh, the Fast family. Um you know, I've, you know, I liked more or less every, every cast member on Facebook just to sort of read the messages about him and, you know, even, even now they're still posting videos. So, yeah, uh, it means a lot, but like I say, if, if you want to talk about that sort of thing, um, even just generally talking about cars as well, um, you know, rather than just always aviation, uh, then that, that would be great. Um. Because when, I mean, friends I talk to on <clears throat> Facebook and that that are that aviation enthusiasts to always talk about aviation, talk about other stuff as well. Because I think if you get to the point where you're constantly talking about aviation and only aviation, it gets to the point where it's a bit, it just gets a bit repetitive, and you're not really there's nothing new to say, and you know what I mean everything's pretty much the same. So yeah, you know if any of you guys want to say anything new. Um, sort of partially related to anything that I've said then please do I hope you've enjoyed this episode, update guys and I'll see you in the next video bye